So today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be going through a review of a re, uh, I'm going I'm basically going to review a review. And normally with this channel it's like, oh, well I'll go through somebody's video game review or whatever, which I had never done before, so this is actually the first time I'm doing something like this. So this review comes for from The Guardian and it's concerning Rambo Last Blood, which is a which I saw couple days ago and full disclosure I fucking loved it I thought it was probably the best like revenge fantasy violent action movie I've seen uh, in, a, in a while um, John I don't know if John Wick really falls in John Wick chapter 3 fall really falls under that category but this, this as far as just like revenge fantasy goes this is the best one I've seen and I don't know in in maybe ever this might be the best re like revenge movie I've ever seen uh, more than like the Taken movies more than the the Equalizer 2 basically Rainbow First Blood is what I wanted the disappointing Equalizer 2 to be this movie is just full on insane it is just carnage and and rage driven violence and it's incredible if you've been if you've been scared off by all the really stupid reviews that this movie has been getting trust me just just don't listen to these fucking critics okay these these people spewing this crap are so out of touch with reality it's it's not even fucking funny so i'm gonna go through a specifically one review and this is from peter bradshaw of the guardian and this guy Right, this is not the first time that I've actually looked at this guy's review and just been like, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? Um, a while back, he wrote a review for um, uh, Ryan Gosling's uh, directorial debut, which was called Lost River. And I actually, I liked Lost River. I thought it was okay. But the hyperbole this guy was spewing about the movie was just ridiculous. And I, I, I don't understand how anyone can take this guy seriously. He's one of these fucking film critics that just comes out there and likes the movies he wants to like and just goes with the crowd. I think this guy literally goes with the crowd like every time one of these big like big critic friendly movies comes out. Like like this guy and, and whenever he writes, his writing is so awful like as you'll see. Like it's just I was like well, how does this guy have a job? I can fucking write better than this guy. So right off the bat, so I, I better get to the review. Right after the bat, like look at this shit. Stallone storms Mexico in a laughable Trumpian fantasy. What the fuck does that even mean? A Trumpian fantasy? What what does that mean? Okay, let's let's read more. This massively enlarged prostate of a film. Okay, gotta go with the the insulting hyperbole there. Uh, of a film can only make you wince with its badly acted Geronto ultra violence. Its Trumpian fantasies about of Mexican rapists and hilariously insecure U.S. border. And its crass enthusiasm for rape revenge attacks undertaken by a still got it senior dude, 73 years young, on behalf of a sweet teenager. Okay. Uh, badly acted. Okay, that's subjective. That's like, look, I thought Stallone was great in the movie. I thought everyone did a really good job in the movie. At least a really good job. But that's subjective. I can't really, I can't really debate that. That's a purely subjective thing. Geronto Gar ultraviolence. Like, okay. It's Trump. This is the one that I like zeroed in on when I first read this. It's Trumpian fantasies of Mexican rapists and hilariously insecure U.S. border. Okay, so I don't know what this fantasy that this guy is refer a fantasy of Mexican rapists is about, but I hope this guy knows that there actually are people in Mexico that do get into gangs and rape women and there are people that roam the streets in mexico looking for young women to have sex with i.e prostitution like that's a that's a thing like that's a reality that's not that's not this like shocking thing that first uh, that uh, sorry last blood is portraying like that's like it happens like i know people who have been to mexico who came from fucking mexico and can tell you that instead of getting all this 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 weird shit from this guy like this is true and hilariously insecure u.s border what like there is nothing in this movie that shows like oh well 
the U.S. Border, border Patrol is hilariously insecure. There's nothing that shows that in this movie. I defy him to name one instance where we get a scene of a corrupt border official or someone like picking their nose while the the car the drug cartel just happens to drive by. Uh, that 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 cannot be proven. Again, this is just ridiculous hyperbole. And it's crass enthusiasm for rape revenge attacks undertaken by a still got it. Okay, forget that shit. On behalf of a sweet teenager. Okay. Rape and re it's crass enthusiasm for rape revenge attacks. There's a whole genre called rape and revenge. Like, it's called, like, Day of the Woman. There's, um, like, the original Death Wish is about that, where his, his daughter, his wife and daughter are raped, and he, and Charles Bronson goes after her. There's, like, entire, like, there's a whole subgenre of horror that's rape and revenge. Like, uh, uh, like, like, what, what is this? Where it's, like, it's crass enthusiasm for it? How is it crass? Can you provide any examples of it? How it's it's crass? Like no, you can't. Like you just don't. You just throw this shit out. And you don't provide any examples. Enthusiasm for it? There's no enthusiasm for it. It's it's portrayed as this terrible thing, and it's portrayed as something horrible that happens to Rambo as a character, and Rambo must now go in and fuck these cartel gang members up. Like that's that's how this works. It's like film like action genre filmmaking 101 the film co-written by sylvester stallone and this one is ridiculous imagines this demure young woman having her face slashed by an assailant but the field is left clear for a stag payback showdown there's no question of her taking her own retributive action she's like a fucking 17 year old in the movie how the fuck is she gonna like how is she gonna like like take her she's drugged and raped like how is she gonna get her own retributive action when she's constantly being drugged that's not how that works dude like, like co written the film co-written by sylvester stallone see like this whole review it like zeroes in on stallone it's like it's like they say oh stallone is the only one who wrote this it's like no dude there's like other people who have been writing this shit um stallone's own impassive face this is so stupid now like a sculpture created by picasso out of a firestone tire so he's just like making fun of how the guy looks now, even though he looks like really great for a 73 year old man. Like what, what the fuck presides enigmatically over the proceedings and his indistinct line readings would not get him very far in rep. His announcement of, I want you to feel my rage and my hate. I want to rip your heart out, which believe me, that is a very, like that is not at all. Like he's putting that in quotes. That's not at all what he says. He says it, like, differently compared to that. This guy really simplifies it. Comes out more like, like, okay, so he's, like, mimicking how Stallone talks. But if anyone that has ears and basic grammar, like, speech comprehension can fucking know exactly what Stallone is saying. It's not like it's a fucking South Park episode. That South Park episode where they have Stallone and he's just going, <laughs> Like, it's just, shut the fuck up. This is so stupid. It's like, what, what point does this have? Like, Stallone, what? Like, like, you, you can't understand what he's saying? No, he, like, the writer just wants to take a cheap shot at him. In the likable Creed movie, Stallone had found a way for his legendary boxing champ, Rocky Balboa, to bow out with humor and humility as a trainer. Okay, that's, that's actually true. I know, one of the few times I'll give him that, because I, I like... I never saw Creed 2, but I liked Creed 1, and I thought Stallone was magnificent in it. There is no such style in this new Rambo film, the fifth in the franchise, which, despite its name, may not be the last. Over the final credits, there is a sentimental, greatest hits montage of Rambo moments over the years, ending with an unexpected present day shot of John Rambo riding off into the sunset on his... So he just spoils... He just, like, spoils the ending of the movie! Like, what, what the fuck is this guy talking about? Like, like he's talking about how there's no style in this film and then he talks for a whole sentence about how there's like a yeah there is like a sentimental greatest hits montage of of moments over the the years like are there more battles still to be won for this great warrior wait what what point does this article wait what point is this paragraph like what he's talking about he compares it to creed and then he does absolutely nothing to like compare and contrast the creed movies like nothing he has no nothing he's got no like evidence or sub or objective truth to any of it. all he does is just go I, I could have told you this that's not a review 
That's just telling somebody what happens during the end credits and spoiling the end of the movie. That's that's not a review. Anyway, oh, thank God this is almost over. Nowadays, Rambo is living on an Arizona farm, far, farmstead in retirement, breeding horses. There is some show-offy but undeniably impressive horsemanship from Stallone here. Okay. Uh, he also weirdly maintains an underground network of survivalist tunnels in which he broods over his collection of weapons. Not surprisingly, these occasionally cause the old boy anxious flashbacks, resembling... This is a plot summary! This isn't... This isn't... This is not a review! This is a plot summary! With, like, some, like, subjective little quips in there. It's not a plot summary! He basically just says, oh, well... The, uh, the, the, um, the, the girl goes to Mexico and she gets, like, abducted and drugged and raped by the Mexican cartel and then Rambo goes to save her. That's just a review! That, that, that's, that's, that's a plot summary! That's not a review! I could go, I could, like, you could put that, you could slap this on the back of the box and it wouldn't look out of place. Besides, like, the, the weird... Uh, 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 impressive horsemanship from Stallone. What about the effects? What about the action? What about all that besides like a one sentence little critique of it? Like this is just useless. Like everything basically okay the only like little bits of review that like he writes are like this paragraph here which is garbage. This paragraph here which is just a cheap shot at Stallone. This paragraph this right here all this right here is just useless. This is useless. This is useless. And that's like two fucking... That's literally two-thirds... That's like two-thirds of the review. That's more than two-thirds because this paragraph is shorter than these two. It's just, it's useless. Two-thirds of this review... Two, two-fifths of this review, sorry, is objectively useless. It is a useless review. Okay. The result is a cringe-makingly written and clunkily, dire and clunkily directed, and even the final action sequence runs out of steam about a minute or so. Okay, w wait a minute. So, can you provide examples as like how this is cringe-makingly written and clunkily directed? Like, can you provide any example, like any sequences that come to mind, or or anything? Like, like he just throws this crap out there, and he's like, "Oh well, oh it's clunkily written, it's directed." Okay, how can you provide lines of dialogue? Can you do anything besides throw out your own bullshit? Even the final action sequence runs out of steam after a minute or so. Okay, but why? Why does it run out of steam a minute or so? Can you go into more detail and explain why? You know why that is the point? No, he doesn't. So, of course, other dramas are arguably vulnerable to the ch charge of de demonizing Mexico? What? Such as the Sicario movies and Nicholas Winding Refn's Too Old to Die Young, but they are thrillers composed with satirical brilliance and icy power? Wait, wh okay. Subjectively, yes, I would agree with Sicar the first Sicario. I don't think the second one has that. And Too Old to Die Young... Uh... I mean, yeah, it's got icy power, but I don't know about satirical brilliance. I, I guess he's more satirical brilliance. He's comparing that to, to, to the first first two Sicario movies, I, I guess. But those thrillers are composed with satirical brilliance and icy power. That's not what Stallone is trying to do. Satirical brilliance and icy power. That's not what he's trying to do. He's trying to create a rage-driven revenge fantasy. It's not about satire or icy power. It's about... Like, like, blood, sweat, and gore. That's what this movie is about. It's about the rage this man feels after having, like, like something very precious to him taken away from him. There's, it's like, it's a, it's a revenge movie. And this fucking idiot from The Guardian, like, does not understand that. It's like he's comparing it to these other movies, these, these like, like, just so mindlessly to these other movies just because they involved Mexico or they involved the drug cartel. Sicario movies and Too Old to Die Young have absolutely fucking nothing to do with, with Rambo. It has nothing to do with Last Blood. Besides very, very surface level stuff. It is the streak of flabby sentimental self-importance that makes Rambo Last Blood unwatchable. Please sly more Balboa, less Rambo. Wait, what? What streak of flabby sentimental self-importance that makes Rambo Last Blood unwatchable? Now, 
I can I can think of a couple moments that he could list in this review because there were parts where I was laugh like uh, laughing like unintentionally, but that was after like an amazing like buffet of action that I thought it was kind of like a little funny, but I loved it anyway. And like he could have cited that in this article as evidence, but he just doesn't because he's a shit critic. So and then the, like what. So that's it. I expected there to be more for a movie for a review that starts like this: Stallone storms Mexico in laughable Trumpian fantasy. Okay, the reason that it's worded like this is because he's just throwing it out there because he wants to get a buzzword in. He wants to have people come to this page, and yo, know, I fell for it. I, I I fell for it. I read it. It's a piece of shit review. He got the click. Well done, The Guardian. You got the fucking click. Well done, Peter Bradshaw. You got the fucking click. But it's it, like Trump, laughable Trumpian fantasy. Why? Just because like Trump has been like, oh, about, oh, build that wall. Like, does that diminish that the reality that they're, like it's Trumpian fantasies of Mexican rape? It? Like, does that, th does Rambo Last Blood lie about the reality that there are rapists and killers and like the cartel? Are we supposed to have some kind of sympathy or, or sensitivity towards the fucking drug cartel in Mexico? Are you fucking kidding me? Are we really going to have that now? Are we really going to have these stupid film critics come in with stuff like this and go, Oh, this this movie doesn't portray the cartel very sympathetically. Fuck them! <laughs> Fuck them! Who cares? They kill people, rip families apart, rape women, and throw children in acid. Who gives a fuck? Like, what? Like, in Trumpian fantasies of Mexican rapists, get the fuck out of here with that shit. And trust me, Peter Bradshaw is not the only one that does this. Like, there's a lot of reviews out there that are like, Oh, Rambo is this, this right-wing hero. Rambo comes in and Rambo's, like, out of so out of touch with reality. No, you want to know who's out of touch with reality? These stupid fucking mainstream film critics like Peter Bradshaw. They are so up their own ass with their own hyperbole and self phony self-righteousness that it's like, Oh, and look at that. Triggered. Ah, ha, ha. Little snarky little thing in there. I just noticed that. Fuck you. This whole, the, look, this video is just an excuse to bash on this one review, but, like, the shit like this, okay, people like Peter Bradshaw are why people don't take these critics seriously. Critics whine, critics love to whine on Twitter about how much people don't respect them, how these film directors like to bash on critics when they don't praise their work, but when you have people like Peter Bradshaw writing, like, just junk, just, just like, you're talking about enlarged prostate? This enlarged prostate of a fucking review. When people read shit like this that's so out of touch with reality, no fucking wonder they look at film reviews and go, this is stupid. Like, just, I cannot, I cannot get over that someone actually came in and wrote a, a five-paragraph review of this movie and spent two-fifths of it just summarizing the plot and then they spoil the ending of it. Like, what... It's uh, oh my god. Okay. I'll, in conclusion, just do not listen to these fucking reviews. Rambo: Last Blood. If you enjoy revenge movies, if you enjoy hard, like like really nasty, brutal violence, that's also really fun in the context of a revenge movie. If you like Stallone movies, you're gonna like Rambo: Last Blood. It's great. I loved it. Oh, and fuck Peter Bradshaw. Seriously.